Okay, hello everybody. So I just wanted to jump on and do a quick tutorial for carb manager. So if you are interested in logging and tracking what you're eating, um, it's not as hard as you guys think it is. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to set it up so that you can find out what your macros are, what you should be focusing in on and how much you should be eating. Because when we're trying to lose weight, focusing on what we're eating is just as important and just as key as anything you know what I mean it just as important as um, starting exercising and getting moving and everything uh, drinking water everything is very important and you can also track your water with this app so let me share my screen with you and we will get started okay so I hope you guys can see my screen my screen now and nobody else is on here so I don't have anybody to ask so we're just gonna do it as you guys can see my screen okay so I just opened this brand new account so that you guys can see how it opens so once you open a new account it goes to basic setup so what you want to track is your net carbs because if you're doing low carb or keto that's what you want to track is your net carbs track all macros on track calories on it pretty much sets it up for you like very simply okay so if you're in the united states and you want imperial measurements or you can change it over to metric whatever works for you wherever you're located and whatever works for you that's what you want to do so you can do kilojoules or you can do calories here in the united states we do calories i don't know where that other one okay and then i'm just going to make up a username blah 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 okay or uh let's do getting it getting it 2020 okay i don't even know where i came from i just you know guessed right now so here it's going to say create your profile but believe it or not creating your profile is part of creating your macros so whether you are male or female you select that what year you were born so i'm just going to put this i'm just going to put uh, my I'm just gonna put my, I'll do somebody else's. So we're gonna set this one up as somebody else. So he was born in 1966, a male. He's five foot, two inches. And you can make this whatever it is that it is for you. Because I don't want you uh, doing my measurements. I'm gonna have you do whatever your measurements are. So, okay, and then his is 150, we'll just do 155. Okay, and his activity is probably moderate. So I'm just, boom, there you go. So if his goal is to lose weight, we're gonna go, okay, so if his goal is to um, lose weight, you can go all the way down to a 35% calorie defi deficit or if his goal is not to lose weight and it's to build muscle, you wanna up your calorie level. So in, our, in my case, personally, I do it to lose weight, so I would do a calorie def deficit. Now you could leave it at whatever it was set at, which is I think 20%, and it says right here at the bottom that you'll lose 3.8 pounds per month with eating and staying in these macros or in these ratios. So here you can lose 6.6 .6 pounds per month if you stay in the ratios. So I always drop mine all to all the way to 35% deficit because it's not going to hurt me to lose a couple more calories a day, okay? So the calorie intake goes down to 1433. Just for this particular person, these are not my nutrients. These are my made up person's nutrients. Okay. So next you want to calculate macronutrient goals. So on a low carb keto diet, you want 70% fat, 25% protein, 5% net carbs. It will calculate that for you automatically. And then you hit apply my macros. Then you can, then you see, okay, you, if you want to sign up for go premium, you can, I have it on my account because it makes things a little easier and there's a lot of more applications that you can use. But just to start, I would just start out with the free and then keep it simple. So if you need to change anything, you would just go here to settings and here you go. This is where you would change everything. See, here's everything. It's like, for instance, I use a blood glucose monitor 
Um, so I would change it to BHB blood monitor. Um, do I take vitamins? Um, no, I don't. And then that's how it measures my ketone density. Um, okay, and then um, you can also connect with the Fitbit. You can connect with a Garmin. You can connect with other devices. Um, I have my Apple Watch connected. Um, you can track your, you can set a time to track your meals, but I don't do that because I do my meals the day before to get it set up so I know exactly how much I can and cannot eat, which helps me greatly. Um, it helps me to do, handle my goals better. So you, let me show you here. You have health goals diet goals, and you can go through these little by little. I don't go through any of this stuff. I just let the computer set it up for me. And if I feel like I need to change things later, I can do that. So here's your measurements, day one. And this will go, you can go here and you can check your weight, like how much weight you've lost and how much weight you've gained over the last 60 days or whatever. So I believe that this is uh, 180. I don't know who weighed 180 or why it did that, but you can go over here. I don't know what this 180 was. <clears throat> so let me erase that. So my, my goal starting weight is 155 for this person. And then you can see your nutrition and wellness. This will show you how you did each day. If you went over your macros, if you were under your macros, if you did okay things like that. And then of course there's community. And if you're willing to join the community, you can definitely join a community or get family and friends. You can join the challenge. There's groups. You can do keto diet groups, 50 pounds to lose, just getting started. And there's so much um, different things that you can do in this app. There's a forum here where you can ask questions. And of course there's stories. Um, I don't know what happened here. Okay, it's just going to open another page. So I don't want to do that. So let's get to my daily log. So on my daily log, basically what you're going to do is you can see that everything is at zero. It has your calories, your protein, your fat, how much fiber. And it doesn't tell you how much fiber. So let me throw that out there real quick. For women, it's 25 grams average. And for men, it's 35 grams average a day. Um, your carbs. And that's going to just tell you how much total carbs you're getting um, all day long, your total carbs. And then the top one is 18 grams of net carbs. That's what you want to reach or less. And um, let me tell you about net carbs and all these different things. Okay, so net carbs, you want to stay below 18. Fat, you want to stay at or below 111. But I don't mean so deficiently low. You want to be able to almost or meet that 111 grams of fat. Protein, you can go 90 grams of protein or over. You do not want to go crazy over, but if you go to 92 or 93, it's not going to hurt you. If you go to 95, it's not going to hurt you, but you don't want to be deficient in protein. You want to make sure you're getting enough or just a little bit over. Fat, you want to make sure you're getting enough or just a little bit under because we're actually training our bodies to burn fat for fuel and we have to give it extra fat to get it to go, oh, there's fat in our system. Let's burn this. And then it will get you into ketosis. Okay. So your calories, you definitely can go over a little bit and it's not going to hurt you, but you don't want to go to like 2000 calories. You want to try to stick to as close as 1433 as possible. If you can get a little bit less, but not too much less, that's okay too. So here, if you push in depth, this will tell you everything and how you did all day. And you can update and set everything. You can go backwards other days too. Yeah, like see yesterday we weren't here. Right here it says water. And you can, every time you drink an eight ounce glass of water, just touch it. Every time you drink another eight ounce glass of water, touch it. What I do is every time I go in the kitchen, I grab a cup of water and I take 10 gulps. And if I can finish the cup in 10 gulps, I did a good job. If not, I just try to finish the water. If I can't finish it, I'm not going to force myself because I don't want to throw up drinking water. So you do that and you check that every time. So then you know that you're getting your max amount of water that you need every day. And if you drink more than that, great. Do not count coffee. Do not count any kind of supplements like ketone water or ketone juice. Don't count that stuff. It's only straight, clear water. That's what, I, that's what you're counting. Okay. And then if you're tracking your steps and how many steps you take every day, 
when you attach your Fitbit, it will do that for you. It will track that for you. But you can always come in here and look at your Fitbit or your Apple Watch and you can add your steps so that you know how much steps you're taking every day and you can keep track of that. So back to daily vlog. Okay, so let's start today's day one, okay? And we are going to log, we are going to eat breakfast, so let's log some breakfast here. So we go add food. And, and then what you're going to do is you're going to search whatever food you're going to eat for breakfast. So it's just say... We're not going to say that oatmeal is a good choice, but we're just going to say oatmeal. Um, okay. Oatmeal, instant oatmeal right here. So I want to, I want you to see this because in keto, oatmeal is a horrible choice. Low carb oatmeal is a horrible choice. This is one cup of oatmeal and you've already gone non grams of your carb limit. So using a little tiny bit of oatmeal is not going to hurt you if you're mixing it in with like a milkshake or a smoothie. So like if you use one eighth of a cup and you mix it with a smoothie, you're going to get three net gram carbs. That's awesome. You're going to get a gram of protein, 20 calories. You're going to get a gram of fiber from that, but it's four total carbs. But you got to remember the glycemic load down here, which is, it means it has sugar inside it or some kind of impact on your uh, blood sugar is going to be two. So I'm just saying, if you insist on drink eating some oatmeal, do a very small amount. Okay, so we can go check that, okay? Now, if you want to add some berries to that, so we can do blueberries, 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 fresh blueberries. So look at that. One cup of fresh blueberries has 18 grams of net carbs. You don't ever want to jump on blueberries like that. You want to do like an eighth of a cup of blueberries, which is probably going to be like five or six blueberries. And you can add that to your oatmeal. And then you can also do strawberries if you want. You don't want to get crazy on the berries because berries are very high in sugar. As you can see, strawberries are less high in sugar than blueberries and raspberries, but they are very good for you and they have fiber in them. So it is something that you do possibly want to include. So you want to do an eighth of a cup of strawberries, which is not going to be a lot, but when you add it to an eighth of a cup of, straw of oatmeal, it's going to be a lot. So add. Okay, so, okay, so that's breakfast. Okay, so let's close that out. And you see you have your breakfast here, and if you scroll up, you're going to see your already done macros and grams of fat, sugar, blah, 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 whatever. Okay, so let's go to lunch. Okay, so say for lunch, you're going to eat, oops, let me see, let me, let me think of something. Okay, so for lunch, you're going to have a tuna salad. So let's do, you can actually, I believe you can go and look up, Yes. Okay. Tuna salad with egg. So let's do it this way. Let's do a tuna salad with egg. Okay. And it says a half a cup. So you only have two net car, two net grams on that. So let's go not one and a half cup. Let me take the half cup away. One cup of tuna salad with egg. Okay. And then let's do... And you can actually go up here, add to favorites. Uh, I don't know if it's going to let me edit. Okay, so it's not going to let me edit anything. So I'm assuming, so I'm assuming in this there is, see, it's really hard when you do that. So let me, let's not do it that way because it's not telling you the ingredients. And I, I don't like that. I, that's why I like the premium because you can edit and you can do whatever you want with things like that. So I'm just going to pretend I know what tuna salad is made out of. Okay. So we'll just say a can of tuna. Okay. Water packed, drain, not rinsed. Okay. So we're going to go um, two ounces. Uh, let's go four ounces of tuna. And then we can do, uh, we can simply add boiled egg. Okay. 
boiled egg or actually look there well, I don't know if there's a difference let's see no they're all the same okay so I just put boiled egg and then um, mayonnaise mayo um, okay mayo store-bought so we can add one tablespoon of mayonnaise that sounds decent okay and then so we just basically made our own little egg tuna salad right here and you just basically involved all the ingredients that you're going to put inside there you can even add a pinch of salt i mean you can add everything you can just add everything that you add in here and then so oops i don't know what i did that for salt hi buddy Okay, just that simple, probably an eighth of a teaspoon, if that, you just add that, okay, and then perfect, and then you go to the X, and then you see you made this lunch, and you might want to add um, some, some greens in here. So you see here, but anyway, so it's okay. So anyway, so you're mac, you're tracking everything that you're eating. You're setting up your lunch. You're, okay, this is what you know. So what you can eventually do is when you go, you can go create a recipe, and then you can go to a salad. Excuse my Alexa. She has. Um, she's trying to tell me something. And you don't have to adjust all this, but you can. You know, like, it's going to take five minutes to prep time. Tuna salad does not need to be cooked. So you put zero. And then you just add this. Ingredients, tuna, boiled, mayonnaise, salt. All the ingredients are right there. Mix together. Mix and eat. Hold on. Well, yes, babe. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hey, can somebody say what? Yes. Because I have any credit card with my name there, but I cannot, they don't have them cash on my credit card. It's not big today. It was not last week. Yeah, you do. Okay. I'm, I'm right there. Can I just send you a picture of it? Oh, you're going to come pick it up? Okay, that's fine. I'll see you when you get here. All right, it's fine. But excuse my husband, sorry. Uh, okay, so basically, so like, just say that you're gonna make a tuna salad for lunch, and you're gonna eat some oatmeal for breakfast. So so far, you guys are doing really good. You got a gram of fiber in. So look, I would recommend for your oatmeal that you would add in some fiber. So what you could do here is add in some chia seed, chia seed. Okay, and then you can do, just say chia seed, whichever chia seed is work, it's fine. And then you can add a quarter of a, well, that's a lot, um, not that much, a uh, tablespoon. Tablespoon, okay. So we can do um, a quarter of a tablespoon. See, and that's not really going to add a lot. So, I mean, I use a different chia seed that has like 10 grams of carbs or fiber in it. So, um, there you go. So, just add that. But that will, I mean, every little bit that you add into whatever, it's going to up, up it. It's going to like count towards more. So, you see now you have five grams of fiber. So, that's going to really help you out in the fiber department. So, also in your tuna, you can add chia seed to your tuna um, salad. So just go here, add chia seeds. You already have it logged in there, so it'll be super easy to find next time. And then you just add one tablespoon, go click, and then you exit out. And then see how, look at now, you have eight grams of fiber for the day, and you um, have already logged your breakfast and your lunch. You want to make sure that you're logging coffee or anything like that, so you can come over here, down here. And you can log coffee or whatever you need to, like if you have snacks, you can do, um, come over here, you can add food, you can add like macadamia, macadamia, uh, let's see, macadamia nuts covered in white chocolate, well, we probably don't want to do that. 
um, macadamia nuts, raw, and salted. That sounds good. Okay, so look at these have pretty high fat. So if you're missing fat in your diet, you can do two ounces of macadamia nuts. And notice that your carbs and your fat are going up. Your protein is going up. You still need 53 grams of protein. You still need 42 grams of fat. And you still have seven macros left. So add that to your snacks. So then you have two ounces of macadamia nuts that you can eat. And then, so for dinner, because you are, let's look at your macros. Okay, so you're really low on protein. So you want to focus on your protein. Um, you want to say add food. And then so what we're going to do is we're going to add some shrimp. Okay, and be careful with shrimp because shrimp is very high in protein. So you have 33 grams if you eat three ounces of shrimp. So you just want to add to that and four ounces. Okay, that's still good. Five ounces. And you notice it's not adding any carbs at all. So six ounces of shrimp. Um, okay, let's stop there. Okay, um, actually, let's add, okay, so seven ounces of shrimp. Okay, and then see how close you are to your protein. That's pretty awesome. So we can check that. And then we can add chia seed. Boom add today and then we can add um spinach to this i always eat baby spinach so you got to watch your carbs you have if you use two cups it's going to add two grams of protein so that's awesome and then you can also do um you add your oil that you're going to fry this in oops sorry oil okay so i do olive oil so i just mark olive oil and i put one tablespoon um hold on a second i gotta get something for my husband because if oh, i can use this All right, perfect. Okay, so let's go back and see what this is looking like. Here, go give this to Daddy, Alex, there. Give this to Daddy. Okay, so you notice that you need 87 grams of fat still. Go give that to Daddy. That's Daddy at the door. Okay, so if you're making tuna salad, you probably aren't going to add any oil to that, but you can supplement with um, MCT oil. So if you supplement with MCT oil, you can go, was that daddy? You can go like that, add today, and then you can go up here where you make sure that you're getting enough fat. So see how you're just a little bit below your fat and that's fine. You're, look at how your net carbs are, they're way down that's awesome that looks like a great meal your fiber looks good because you're adding fiber to your to each of your meals so you can actually just go through here so you're adding chia seeds you're adding chia seeds you're adding chia seeds super great fiber source for anybody who's on keto or keto or low carb or anything like that just add chia seeds to everything and you will always make sure that you have enough fiber. With 19 grams of fiber, it's a pretty good start considering that um, I was taking zero fiber before, right? So if you want to get a little more oil in there, what you can do is just add a half a tablespoon of oil to your egg salad. So you can go like this and you can say olive oil or whatever kind of oil you want to add. And you can add half a tablespoon and then you wanna go check, and then you can go back and look, and you see how you're getting closer to your fat levels. Your grams of carbs did not go up. You're very close to your protein, and look at your calorie tracking, super. And you still have to eat some oatmeal with some berries in it, so that's awesome. You know, like you don't have to let go of everything that you love. So this is just an example of how to set up a simple menu. I do this the day before, at least I try to every day, to do this the day before so that I know what I'm eating. 
I know what I'm going to be able to enjoy that day. Um, lately, I've been skipping breakfast. So if you skip breakfast, you can just up the calories in breakfast and lunch and still get your all your nutrients met. Because if you don't meet your nutrients, your body is going to go into starvation mode and you're not going to be successful at losing weight either. So when they set up these kinds of calories, your body needs that much calories to successfully lose weight. So you definitely want to keep keep going and don't give up. And if you need help with anything macro-wise, please let me know. And I'm happy to reach out with you in your inbox and help you out. Um, we can also jump on a Zoom and you can show me your page and then I can help you set things up and get you started. Thank you for joining me and I'm glad. I hope this brought value to somebody and have a great day. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, drop a love in the comments and let me know and I will do some more educational and um, great videos like this. Thanks. Have a great day, you guys.